Science with Yao Yao, all about mechanical bunnies. Elemental skill. Yao Yao's elemental skill summons Yuegui, her trusty bunny companion. It has both a press and a hold variation. Pressing her skill will immediately throw Yuegui two and a half blocks in front of her. She will not turn to face enemies, nor throw Yuegui directly at them. Holding her skill will allow aiming the throw, similar to that of Amber's Baron Bunny, but with full control. However, Yuegui does not explode, so placement is less important. Regardless of press or hold, this Yuegui is known as throwing mode, and remains on field for 10 seconds. Yuegui, throwing mode. Yuegui, for reasons known only to Cloud Retainer, throws a radish every one second at a nearby target. Since it remains on field for 10 seconds, it can throw up to 10 radishes. Targets are prioritized from within a radius of 9 blocks of Yuegui. 1. Active characters with 70% HP or less, selecting the one with the lowest HP. 2. A random living enemy. 3. A random object, like barrels or campfires. 4. Active characters with more than 70% HP. 5. A random direction, 12.5 blocks away. Terrain may interfere with initial target acquisition, but Cloud Retainer has equipped these radishes with homing devices. Even Yelang cannot outrun them. When friends or foes are within a 2.5 block radius from a radish, it will explode, healing or damaging them respectively. If left alone for 5 seconds, it will explode of its own accord. An additional heal over time buff is applied or refreshed, with a 5 second duration. Every 1 second it heals the character, even if they are no longer on the field. Upon hitting an enemy, an energy particle is generated with a short cooldown. Up to 5 particles may be created in this way. Radishes aimed at characters will not generate particles unless an enemy is also caught within the explosion radius. These radish explosions have an internal cooldown of 2.5 seconds on their dendro application. Yuegui, jumping mode. When Yaya activates her elemental burst, she unleashes a blast around herself with a radius of 3.5 blocks. Following this, she summons a different Yuegui, jumping mode. One second afterwards, another spawns, and one second after that, yet another, for a total of three. These Yuegui disappear simultaneously five seconds after casting her elemental burst, or when Yaya leaves the field. In total, they throw nine radishes, using the same targeting mechanics and explosive range. In addition, as long as Yao is sprinting or jumping, she will throw up to 8 radishes herself. The range on this is the same as Yuegui's, but she will only throw them at enemies. During this time, all radishes, including those from her elemental skill, are upgraded and utilize her elemental burst talent scaling. These special radishes heal the entire party when they explode. They will still trigger the heal over time effect, but only on the active character within proximity. Despite being transformed, radish explosions from an elemental skill will still generate energy particles. As far as reactions go, the internal cooldown is reduced to 1.5 seconds, and the standard 3 hit rule does not apply. After Yayo's elemental burst expires, any radishes remaining on the field are downgraded immediately. Even if they originated from an elemental burst, they will now scale from her elemental skill multipliers. Miscellany It is possible for Yuegui to get frozen, which prevents it throwing radishes. Its field time is unaffected by this, so fewer radishes are thrown overall. Yuegui may be thrown great distances, such as off this cliff edge. Its field time starts when it lands, and it will still proceed to throw 10 radishes. Yo! When poised to face off against Timmy, Yao Yao, or more specifically Yuegui, falls at the first hurdle. It refuses to throw radishes at his birds, whilst also scaring them away. 
That concludes Science with the Yo-Yo. Thanks for watching.